Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. In case you're unfamiliar of what happened last time, the Dreamers are dead. We've killed them all. At least to my knowledge, there were only three of them, but there very well could be more. Welcome back, Sims Jeff. Welcome back, Universe. Welcome back, people of prideful and not-so-prideful nature. You have your own preference, and that's okay with us. I don't really know what to do now in this game. I feel like the only thing that's left for me to accomplish is to naturally make my way to the Temple of the Black Egg, which, from what it seems like, is now unlocked. Because I killed all the dreamers. Did I mention that the dreamers are dead? They're dead. They're freaking dead, dude. And I don't know why I'm so excited about that. I really shouldn't be so excited about the, the, the death of others, but they were just sleeping. They were just minding their own business. But, like, somehow I take great pleasure in that. Don't know why. Don't know how. But I just do. Do I feel guilty about it? Let's try not to. But, like, I know there's more to this game than just what comes next. Not that I've done a lot of research on my own time on this, but I have a strange feeling that what lies within the Temple of the Black Egg might be the end. So, with that in mind, there's other places that I haven't yet explored, and I'm not quite ready to finish the game just yet. So, essentially, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explore a little bit more. This could be a stream of an hour and a half of a dude just kind of running around enjoying Hollow Knight in the most innocent way possible. That could be great. It could be stumbling upon even greater things. Honestly, I'm not so sure, but I hope that you will take this journey with me. And if you don't want to, that's okay. I'm sure you have better things to do. Maybe you have a kid. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just have yourself. And that's also valid as well. Let's get into it. I need to go down. I think where I'm going to go first is, and I know there's a shortcut for the map. I know what the map shortcut is. Click and hold. Yeah. I'm going to make my way over... I heard there was stuff in Kingdom's Edge. Ki <laughs> Words. Kingdom's Edge. And I haven't been to Kingdom as Kingdom's Edge yet. Can I open up the map, please? There we go. I haven't quite made my way through all the things in Kingdom's Edge, and I was a little... I was tipped off the last time that I should probably go over there because there's something that waits for me. So, there's a couple of blue markers over here. That's where I'm gonna head first. Uh, just gotta find out the easiest way to get there. Which looks like... Maybe going up there? There might be a little... Oh, I could go all the way back up there and then the Castle of Fools. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go up and then around past the Colosseum of Fools and then down, I suppose. So, let's make our way off to the right. And that's where we're kinda gonna... Kinda... Kinda... I can't speak. Kinda gonna get started over here. We'll just kinda meander our way to it, the right side. Previously on camera with an X, a.k.a. Uh, what happens before, which is the X bar. I like cocktails. Maybe you like cocktails? That's okay. I made one out of milk and bourbon. That's essentially all it is. Combine milk and bourbon together, and you get something that tastes like, you guessed it, alcoholic milk. But, uh, with a twist. It's got cereal in it, and it is... It's of questionable flavor. It's of questionable taste. But it is damn fabulous. And, uh, I have not only my small bit, I also decided to bring over the giant margarita glass with me as well. This is all cocktail. It's a batch cocktail. It's the first one I've done on the show. I've been afraid to do so because naturally, when you make a batch cocktail and you're the only person in your abode that consumes them, um, well, Sims just says to consume, and I will. Thank you. It's lovely. I'm gonna try to get a bit of the cereal, too. Mm. It's honestly not that bad. It could be so much worse. It could have much more bourbon. Which, to some, would probably make it better. But, um, listen, I like my spirit-forward cocktails as much as the next person who usually enjoys spirit-forward cocktails, but that's a lot. And honestly, I don't know if I can do with a lot. I think I can only do with a little at a very small dinner. But I have all my water with me. If anybody ever gets worried about the fact that we're drinking alcohol here, it's got water. We're drinking water as well. Yo! It's my mother! Hi, Mom! You know what we do for moms? Love you, Mom. I hope you're doing well tonight. Oh, goodness. I almost got hit by that... Uh, I, I, the, the little dude. I don't want to do that. Hi there. No, I'm going to ignore you. You know... Oh, uh, okay. Well... You want to come fight? Want to fight me? Want to come fight me? There you go. Got you! Up we go. Up we go. No, can we go farther? Can we, can we go farther? We want to go farther. Hey there. Bye. Bye there. Hey, Mom! Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, 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 no, 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 no. It's not that. No, I don't, I don't remember telling you that I was okay with you jump scaring me like that. Not okay. But like, I mean, I guess to each their own, you know? Come on down. Come on down to Elevator Town. 
Dad watching also. Oh, hi, Father. Hi, Mom and Dad. On Brandon's TV. Dad, Mom, and Brother? That deserves more cheers. <laughs> that's that's for that's for Brendan, who's having a birthday real soon. Real soon. Like how soon? Don't worry about it. <laughs> do you two share an account to watch at the same time? My father doesn't do to my knowledge, my father doesn't do the Twitches. He's got a YouTube. That's cause it's some that business related. But you know. Thank you, parents. I appreciate your love and support literally all the time. Even when you're not here. That's okay. I just found out the other day that there's been a secret there's been a secret admirer of mine liking my videos on YouTube, and I found out that it was my father, and I literally couldn't be more touched. I was like, oh my god, that's so nice of you guys. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I saw them over the weekend. Uh, I stopped by for a little bit. I actually had a wedding to go to over the weekend, which my dearest fiance and I were not the bride and groom, unfortunately. However, it, it was nice. It was on a golf course. I don't know where I'm going. No, yes I do. I'm supposed to go the other way. That's what I'm supposed to do. Um, but it was nice. It was it was beautiful. Um, there was um. Use more descriptive terms, Cameron. You're running a show here. Um, so it was a wedding. Um, it was on a golf course. There was a gazebo. The ceremony took place in a gazebo that was outside, and it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. It was not that humid. It was very sunny out. Actually, I could barely watch the ceremony occurring as the officiator was officiating the wedding. But without my eyes tearing up, not because I'm that sentimental, but instead because my eyes were burning from looking at the sky. The sun was behind me, but somehow whatever was reflecting off of the atmosphere was getting me right in the eye, and it was insane. I don't think I've ever been outside on such a sunny day as that, and it was it was lovely. The ceremony was short and sweet. We went up to the, uh, it wasn't even the, I don't think it was the country club building. It was more like a mansion, to be honest, and it was cool looking. And we had a cocktail hour, and then we had a nice dinner as well. It was cool. I think I got the salmon with dinner. It was great. Hey, bud. Yeah, I don't like you. Still don't like you. Still don't like you. Die. Thank you. I, um, it was interesting. We, it was me, my fiance, and my two future in-laws who were invited and sat around at the wedding. Um, and we were sat at this table with somebody that I think the bride and groom thought my future mother-in-law knew, although she wasn't familiar with this person at all, but we all kind of hit it off. As it turns out, I had the pleasure of sitting next to a fellow engineer who has been at it for much, much longer than I. Oh, I know you're hiding in there. I know you're hiding in there. Don't, can't fool me twice. Uh, I went too far up. Wait a minute, I went too far up? Oh, I need to jump back down the chasm. Okay, I need to go back. I need to go back the other direction. I got so... Man, I was so excited about talking about the wedding. I got I got completely sidetracked. Can I go this way? This looks like a way I can go. Just kidding. Okay. Watch out, Cameron. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I sat next to an engineer, uh, f a fellow firmware developer who's been at it for at least 40 years now. He was telling me how he worked for a startup, like me, for like 15 years, and then it got bought out by somebody. I don't know who. I don't remember. I, I matched with him on... I connected with him on LinkedIn, and he was like, yo, I like to like to take young, spry people like yourself and train them to be even better. And I was like, I appreciate it, sir, but I got somebody who's already fulfilling that role for me. And it was like, all right, I get you. But we connected anyway. Always got to keep your options open. It was also an aerospace. And to be honest, I'm not, I'm not really into aerospace. I'm not really a, an aerospace type person. No, 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 wait, wait, why'd you do that? No, oh, I wanted to get out of there. Maybe if I jump up, can I jump? Mom is the only one with a twitch. Correct. Oh, can I go up? I want to go up. Can I jump out on the wall? Bounce. Up. Up you go. Oh, I can do that now. Oh, that's cool. I forgot I have double jump. I can do that now. Maybe there's a crystal I can bounce off of. Maybe? Maybe? Crystal? Crystal's crystal bang? No? That's that's fine. I'll just, like, jump off the wall. And this is a very large... This is a very large chasm. Here, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, there it is! Oh, I was so close to not making it. <laughs> Epic. Um, but yeah, it was great, and it was nice to be able to make his acquaintance. I think, I think he went by the name George. I go by the name- Whoa, shit! Hi there! <laughs> I get surprised at these things very often. I don't really pay full attention. Um, hi there. I'm just gonna- We're running past. We're running past. Bye, bye guys. We don't need to do that. We don't. We really don't. Go. Down. Go down. There's an entrance to the City of Tears over there. I somehow didn't notice that. That probably would have been quicker for me. Interesting. Cameron's eating cereal for dinner. Okay, okay. For the record, I had rice, chicken, and vegetables for dinner, but I didn't finish my dinner. Then I ate an entire pretzel, the size of the ones you get from the pretzel place at the mall, and now I'm having alcoholic cereal for dessert. But, technically speaking, if you decide to blur the lines between dinner and dessert, 
then uh, yeah, it's it's probably dinner. Hi there. No, I don't like you guys. I still don't. Never liked you. Never will. Don't like it. Um, where do I go now? Across. Okay, cool. Hey there. Bye there. <laughs> don't touch me, please. I did not give you permission. Whoa! Hi there. There are a lot of you, aren't there? That's awesome. I'm gonna go that way to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going next. It's tough to look at the map. All right, which way now? Down! Down, you say? Down, I say! Let's go down. I can go of one of, it looks like, three locations. So, let's let's do it. We'll go to the bottom of the chasm and then make our way to the right. I, it looks like there might be acid or water at the bottom there, and if that is indeed the case, then cool. I can swim in that now. I am not affected by the acid no more. Oh, I forgot. Falling carcasses. Oh, hi. And exploding carcasses. Not as cool as dead carcasses. Um to some perspectives, I assume. It's really whatever you darn well please it to be. Maybe you're in a dead carcasses, in which case love is love, I guess? I, I don't know. That, that's a little more, that's a little more, uh, there's a, further ethical questions to be ha to be made about that, but that is not of my concern right now. I just played a game, I just recently played a game where it's, it's literally dead people all the time. Literally all dead people, literally all the time. And uh, that's done. Nothing wrong with cereal for dinner. I don't think so, but I mean, maybe the moms in the crowd have something else to say about that. Is it wrong for me to be eating cereal for dinner? Although I didn't eat cereal for dinner and I would never admit to that. But there is cereal in my cup and I am consuming it right now. With water. Which I have completely spilled on myself. Because I'm a fool and I don't know how to keep, keep clean. Actually, you know what? I think the break was a little longer than usual because I actually did do a little bit of cleanup before I switched sides. So I just, I, I felt, I felt weird leaving that much milky, milky stuff over in my bar area that I may have to clean up tomorrow or later after. I figured it was, it was best kept in the sink. So I put it all in the sink. Where to next? Uh, I guess I'm going to the side. I didn't mean to, but here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Run! Oh, goodness. And running can't help you now. Running cannot save you now. Running cannot save me now. No, stop. Oh, my God. No. Running cannot save me now. Uh, heal. 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 That's cool. That's that's acceptable. I'm okay with that. Run. Oh, God. Hey. That was that was not cool. That was not cool. Stop following me. What is wrong with you? Don't... No, stop. I forgot about you. Jesus, mums. Jesus. Can't get in here, you spoopy little... S I don't know what word to use there. Um... I could go down or- oh, I missed my location. I missed my location. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Goodbye. I need to go the other direction. How far into that direction? Oh, over the other one. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no. You can't. You can't. I won't let you. Please don't. Oh, oh my god! How did you do that? No! That wasn't cool at all! I did not realize you could do that! That was insane! I've never seen a jump like that in Hollow Knight. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. Okay, thank God. You're dead. You can't get up here, can you? I would be surprised if you could. <sighs> All right, where, where do? Go to the other side. K, okay, go up. Also, K. Okay. okay, then. Oh, my God. All right. Who waits for me above? Oh, boy. More of the little guys. Dare I say there might be a big guy around here somewhere? I'd be... Not happy to see it. Oh. A black gate. I still have yet to figure out how to get through there. Out of all my abilities, I still don't know how to get past this. Huh. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I'll go the other direction. That moment when they pull a fast one on me. Oh, they did. And it was a quicken. I don't want to go this way. Do I? No, I really don't. Oh, yeah, no, I certainly don't want to go that way. I'm not messing with you. Ugh. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And if they were family, I'd have to deal with them. But they're not, I don't think, unless all bugs are technically related to each other. <laughs> Which I guess if you go fi back far enough, maybe. But no, stop. Ah, whoa. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll continue. No, stop. Don't. Ah, jeez. No, stop. Okay, no. 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 I don't like those things. I, for some reason, like, their their jumps are perfectly timed, but, like, I can't... I can't... I just can't handle it. I just can't handle it, dog. I can't handle it. Man. All right, well... Let's go to the other way. Hopefully there's not another sp spooky dark gate that's trying to hold me back. Maybe? Oh! Oh! 
Oh, I needed the ability to fly through, uh, to swim. And now I can swim, which means we're good. And that looks interesting. What is down here? Interesting. Is this endless does unlock another area? Can I go in? Let me in! Little pig. Little pig. Let me in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin buzzy buzz. Perhaps. Oh, it's like a- Oh, they're bees! Oh, that's so cute! I didn't know there were bees in this game! Although I honestly probably should have expected it, but I just- I just didn't. Oh my god! That's so cool! Are they actually bees? No, that's not a- that's not a bee. No. <laughs> Philip! Oh, that looks- <laughs> I thought this dude's name was Philip. Uh, it is not. Uh, bees? 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 Bees! Bees! Hiveling. Okay, okay. Smallest of the hives inhabited. I am in a hive. It appears. That that seems to make that makes sense. If they are the smallest of the hive uh, residents, then they this must be the hive, right? I mean, they we are they they're residents of this location, so it must be. Also, I've saved another grubby grew, and for that, I think we can celebrate. Celebrate how you may. Oh wait, I can't get through here. Oh, oh, oh. Was that all? Oh. Is that- is that it? Oh. I can't- I can't get over there. Really? Interesting. Well then. Okay, I guess... That's it then? Right, I have no idea how to get the other side. Maybe my- Maybe my map can help me. Go to the map. What else could possibly have a connection to this area? The palace grounds, perhaps? How do I get in there? Why do I have this marked here? Can I zoom in any farther? I don't think I can. I can do this, right? Huh. Very, very interesting. If I click this button, I'm trying to... I'm trying to click the button to see just the area I'm in, and I cannot. That's unfortunate. Okay, huh. Well, alrighty then. That's that's all that there is there, apparently. Okay. I am still confused, but uh, maybe we'll find out more later. I suppose the next place to go to would be the palace grounds, because I saw another marker there as well. Or perhaps, what if I go in this direction? Maybe? Can I go beneath the water? I don't think I can. What if there's a hidden area over there on the right side near the bench? Or maybe I have to go through that dark, spooky gate. Mm. Can I go this way? I cannot. I'm gonna... I gotta feel like... I'm gonna try to go this way and see if I find anything. If not, then we'll continue towards what I imagine the palace grounds to be. Maybe it's blocked off. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. I am forgetful. Hi, guys. Hello again. I hate you. I hate you very much. No, stop. No, stop. Oh my god. Why? Alright, big dude. I am doing nothing but hurting myself over here. My goodness. Okay. Big dude? Big Bruce here? Big dude? Me, me, big boy. Hi there. You are large and scary. Yeah, but you got more health this time. I, well, I do. I had. I had more health. Okay, so if I go this way, I will find a bench. Probably useful, because I'm dying. Um, or I've encountered a lot of enemies over here. Don't like that. Hi there. Bye there. Okay. Bench. Oh, nice. Evasive maneuver! There we go. Oh, what was in here again? I don't remember. That's okay. Map has been updated. Tell me, tell me more. What does my map done say to me now? Oh, there's a little area over there. But it looks like... Dude, please, please, please. Click button twice. Thank you. I'm gonna take the... Oh, welcome back, dearest. I'm gonna take... This pin off. Yeah, it's totally... Hmm. It is totally blocked off. I cannot go that way. Interesting. Is there something in this direction? There is something, but what's in this home? Anna, would you like to try bourbon milk? That sounds horrifying. It does sound horrifying, and it kind of is. Oh, I've talked to you before. I see you've been taught the nail art. Oh, ooh, I see you've been taught the nail art by my brother. Yes, he was the mightiest of the great nail sages pupils. Far outshining Mato and myself. My brother and my master loved him very much. Hey, Anna! How was the library? The people want answers. Do you like it? You shouldn't. I don't 
like milk. Why did I drink this? It's oat milk. I know. Hey guys. The library was okay. I was the only one there, so the lights turned off, which is awesome. Oh, because of the, the, the motion sensors? Yeah, it's my favorite part when the oh lights God. are completely off and no one else is in there. I'm that like, moment Yay! when you're a, you are so still in the room with the motion sensor lights that they shut off because they think you're not there anymore. Well, I'm just sitting in the back, so that's kind of why they shut That off. might be the case. I love when it happens. Can you tell the relative position of the sensors around you? No. Uh, oh, hi there, you. Hey. Um, Dream Nail! Stronger! Brothers. Oh, you're dead. Can I can I hit you? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. You're the training dummy. You are you're the brother that died. So we use you as a training dummy. Why wait a why did I go down? No, I don't want to go down. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go down. I'm gonna go to the side. It's a power-up that we'll use later. Can I go any farther from here? Nope. Okay. Down we go. Maybe I'll find the hive over here. Or perhaps there was something special that I already discovered here that I have now completely forgotten about in normal Cameron fashion. Hello? Anybody home? It appears not. Hi there. Nope, there are people home. Evidently. Hi there. Mm, no. Mm. Die. Perish. Die. Okay. Uh, I can't go this way. Nope. Nobody go over here. I don't think there's a path here because I don't see any pathways on my map. But I'd love to be pleasantly surprised. Hi there. Nope. Hey there. Bye there. Ha. <laughs> Bye. And down this little chasm. No secrets on the walls. Secrets on the wall? Secrets on the wall! Rancid egg. It smells putrid and tastes worse. But not for somebody else. Oh my god. Whoops. Oh hi. Oh hi. Hey there. Disgusting. Disgusting. Hey. Disgusting, disgusting. Oh, there's stuff coming up from there, too. Can I go up? Nope. Was there something to find over here? I think I already found it, whatever it was. Oh, hi there. Bunch of... Oh, it was a grubby girl. Nice. Well, I've already saved you and sent you back to Grandpa Grub. Hi there. You're just as ugly as your siblings were. Ah, damn it. Why don't you get hurt by the spikes? That's unfair. That's unfair. That's unfair. Unfair. Funfair, unfair. Nope, not fair at all. Ah, escape. Oh, I hear... Oh, I hear a... No, stop! I hear a spooky gate! Oh my god! No, 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 Stop. What is that sound? I don't like the sound you're making. No, don't die like that! Why are you... How did you get up here? No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. I don't like the implication of you being here. Jeez. No, why are you in here?! Oh my god. Darude Sandstorm? Comes up at the most inopportune, yet opportune times. Stop! No! Don't do that! I'm in a yelling mood today, can you tell? Come here. Come here, you stupid little newt. You look like you've got an elephant horn. Maybe you're supposed to be an elephant beetle. You probably are an elephant beetle, come to think of it. No, stop! No, stop! No, stop! I told you not to. I asked you politely. Actually, I didn't. Please stop. Please stop. Now I've asked you politely. Dom's always in a yelling mood. Dude! If I didn't worry so much about what my... Uh, what I think my neighbors think of me, maybe I'd be less inclined to care, but I... I, I worry. Because, like, I don't want to bother people, but somebody, so far nobody's complained about it, and if they complain now, well, it's okay because I'm moving out. Hey, what's in here? I knew you were here already. I already got the thing here. Slice. Pure. Pure indeed. Pure and simple. And that's that's pretty much it over here, right? Yep, that's all there was. I should heal. I should heal. I should heal. That's a good point. Very good point. I like that. Yeah. Great ideas. Great ideas from the crowd. All, all crowd ideas are good ideas. They will all be entertained. I like to pride myself on the whole, no matter what I do you may have, it will be entertained. And at the very least, considered, or made into a funny little bit that I get to have fun with, and potentially everybody else will. That's that's my rule. We will entertain all things. All suggestions are suggestions. Whether or not they're bad or good is irrelevant to me. Alright, so, I do not gain access to the hive. I thought I would gain access to the hive. I was wrong. But you know what? We can be wrong sometimes. We just have to acknowledge our wrongnesses and correct upon them, make them goodnesses. Maybe. 
All right, come here, buddies. Come in. Come on. There we go. Now that I know what you're up to, I'm less inclined to not feel bad. Unless you follow me. If you follow me, that just instant bad me feels. Can I get up there? I don't need to. Ah, why are you all coming in a circle? That's not a circle. It's a line. I'm geometrically confused. Oh my gosh. Hey, mom, if you're still watching, do you think you should grow his mustache out? My mother actually is the one who originally encouraged me to grow out my hair and everything else. And so if you asked her, she'd probably say, yeah, totally, dude. To which I say, no. Nah. Actually, she was the one who, my hair used to be a whole hell of a lot longer, like much longer. This whole short haired Cameron thing, that's only within the last decade or so. That's a relatively new development in my lifetime. Not even half of my life has been spent, spent with this short hair. Um, but uh, I decided it was something I wanted to do. Something I wanted to do to evolve. This is this is Cameron num Mark Three. Cameron Mark Three is what sits before you today. There was a Cameron Mark One. He didn't really know how to label himself as Mark One. Cameron Mark Two came around, discovering himself in ways that everybody might want to do, and some people should never do, depending on how you think of it. And this is Cameron Mark Three. He's he's an adult. He's refined, but yet oddly childish. Dom's had short hair for the longest time, like the last five years, dude. Honestly, I, I like the short hair. I like, I think that short hair um, is, is less product. I like not having to deal with as much product and money that I have to spend on actual con uh, conditioning and whatnot. Also, it's, it's just overall, it's just easier to manage. Now, don't get me wrong. It is not as, it's, it's not as expressive to be able to style up and change my do with. There's only a certain number of do's that I can, that I can imbue into my skull um, with my current hair setup. But honestly... I don't really feel the need to. I, I haven't felt the impetus to change it recently. I just, I just don't feel like I need to. I like my wave. I like my waves and wings the way that they are, and I'm very happy with that. I, it's actually, it's taken me a while to get to a point where I was actually cool with it. Oh, look at this! I can do this thing. Crystal time. Crystal time, baby. Oh wait, I don't need to work. Oh, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I don't have to worry about that because, because. Oh, how did I get up there? Nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I can swim in the I can swim in the um in the acid now. So this is this is a cool little shortcut. Breaked. Nice. We got broken, dude. Nice. Get broke, Don, bro. Dom asks, did he send you the shower mohawk the other day? You did, and it was awesome. I can't do my I, I can do a shower mohawk. Yeah, no, no, I can do a shower mohawk. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. The royal waterways. I've unlocked the door. The door is mine now. I found a way to succeed. Uh, what's over here? I don't remember. What's in? What is in here? What is this? Oh my goodness! Hello there, anonymous gifter who has gifted five subs out. Hello. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I am doing excellent. But somehow you've made things even better. For subs, what we usually wind up doing is we put on sparkly, 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 sparkly party hats, and I you have. Multiple sparkly sparkly party hats. I don't know where my rainbow one went. It's probably in my collection somewhere, but excuse me everybody for an intermission brought to you by an anonymous gift here. Thank you, and you are also so very welcome. If whatever we were doing here caused this, you're welcome. And to everybody else who got a little something extra, have fun with the emotes. I took a I take a lot of pride in those things. It's great. It actually is it's kind of it's kind of an interesting thing because they, uh, Twitch released the, um, the, the artist and emote badge stuff now, and so there are badges for that stuff now, so if there are, and honestly, so I do all of my own emotes and stuff like that, so I, I do all my own, like, graphic stuff, I do my own overlay stuff, I do most of my own editing, actually I do all my own editing, I don't know why I said most of it, um, so, like, technically, if I were to give out the badge in a way that denotes, hey, you made my emotes, or you made art for me, then it, it wouldn't be... It just wouldn't feel right. I like because I it would all that stuff would go to myself. So the idea that I have, and I'm curious about this, uh, is if you make if you make art in general. Like we have a we have an art channel on the Discord, and I think there's only a couple things up there. I post some things there sometimes. I think there's I think there's a picture of once a once upon a stream. There was a line that was not looking very good, um, but that line was beautiful, and we called that line the Prince, and she was beautiful, and will forever be beautiful now and until the end of time. But it's awesome. So the idea that I have, and I, I feel the uh, the idea that I have is like if you make some art, pop it on there. 
I don't know. I kind of I don't know exactly how many art badges I have, but currently nobody has one, and I want to give them away uh, to people who I think you know who have showcased it. So if you want to, feel free to. There could be some badges in it, I guess, if you're into that kind of stuff. Also, like even aside from that, without the whole incentivization of it, I'm just curious to see what other people do out there. It's, it's a very very cool thing. Do you have five other hats to wear? I think that reward would go to you. Oh, the reward five other hats to wear? Of course I do. I have so many party hats. I have so many party hats. Also, by the way, now that we're on the big screen, uh, if you like cocktails, we made a cocktail. It's big. It's milk. It's um, it's bourbon. It's it's interesting. Actually, now that the cereal has had more time to kind of figure itself out in there, it actually doesn't taste that bad. Where do I? I put another party hat on. Is that a silver one? It is. All right, I put on four. I need one more. I need one more. Let's go with a green one. Let's go with a green one. I like that. I like that indeed. Okay. Where am I going to put this one? Can you see the other ones so far? They're, they're all kind of on my back. I've got spikes like Bowser. I kind of want one that goes on my shoulder. I haven't been doing very well with the shoulder ones. Let's try it again. Luckily, the big party hats, these silver ones, uh, these, uh, these shiny, shiny ones, have very, very long... They are very long, uh, oh, what's the term? Oh my god. It's the thing that goes around your head. Um, oh my god. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. That was supposed to go on my shoulder. Oh, it did! Cords! Cords! It's a cord. That's a good one. That's a good word. We like those words. They have very long cords on them, so I can make them into a suit of armor. At some point in time, I really want to be able to... Anna and I do cosplay stuff, and so I'd really love to have a party hat suit of armor. That'd be so cool. Also, best thing about party hats, you can play them like a guitar. Well, that one actually kind of sucks, but if you play it like this, that one also kind of sucks too. Anyway, back to the game. Huh, thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome to everybody. On behalf of the anonymous gift here, you're welcome. Not that it's my call to make. Anyway, okay, okay. Okie dokie. Let's go. Continue. Where are we going? Scott Pilgrim vibes. Oh my god, with the with the armor? I need to watch Scott Pilgrim again. I have not watched it recently. I love that. I am uh, at some point too. The Scott Pilgrim game is in my mental list of things that I want to play at some point. Oh, this is Eastmas Grove. Oh, this is how I got here. Okay, let's check back the map again. Um, but I, ha I haven't played it recently. Uh, actually, I've never played the Scott Pilgrim versus the World game. I'd like to though at some point. Maybe we'll see. Okay, I want to get to the hive. And I think the way to get to the hive is to go down to the palace grounds. So I'm going to go back for the way that I came, go down this little chasm over here, take the tram over, go to the palace grounds. It might be locked off. If it is, then we'll just... We'll just keep going. Also, did I... Why is that marker there? I don't know why that mark er, marker is there. Maybe I should investigate that. Why is that marker there? I feel like that's not supposed to be there. Hmm. Nah, I'm going to ignore it for now. But there's other things around here somewhere, so I'm gonna go back, because there's two markers. It's an exploration kind of day. I'm trying to... I don't want to fight the vinyl balls yet. I hear sounds. Why do I hear people laughing? Oh, I remember you. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I don't want to deal with it. I don't... I don't want to deal with it. You go to the city, the City of Tears. I remember that now. You're just kind of hanging in there laughing to yourself because of... I don't know what reason, but... I'm sure you've got a good one. In any case, let's find our way back up. Back to the yonder area. Yonder, yonder ways. Yonder places. Yonder, yonder londel londel do. Epic. Cameron's making up words again. It happens. Once upon a time. Every once in a while, I have a very associative memory, so I will remember things that happen based off of other things that happen. It makes for a very a very easy way to keep the conversation going, even when you're the only one talking. But, like, once upon a stream, I was playing Celeste, and I was accidentally did a B-side without really knowing that I was doing a B-side, which are the harder... It's the harder ones in the game. And so, quite literally, I suffered to the point of frustration. I usually don't get frustrated playing games. I'm not... I don't usually push myself that hard, although sometimes I do, but I don't, the way that I coped with it was just saying words. Hey, Grubby Grew! I was trying to make alliteration to make myself feel better. I would just say words that started with a particular letter and just keep going with it in some way to make myself feel better. I don't think it made myself feel better, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> but I did it anyway. 
Filt, do that too often, get frustrated at games. It's like, I like, it may not seem like it, but I do kind of struggle. It's not like diagnosed or anything like that, but I sometimes have a hard time controlling my emotions. I sometimes get a little aggressive. I've toned down a lot through the years. I don't like to punch things anymore. I don't like to take my anger out physically. I'd rather take my things out creatively. Um, uh, but I, that's what I try to do for the most part. Although, you know, I like to, if I had a stress ball around, I'd probably use it, but I don't actually have a stress ball. I just have way, way too many pillows. I could probably use one of those to be perfectly honest, but I try not to take it up in such a quote-unquote destructive manner. I like constructive forms of meditation, like drawing, although I don't do that very often. And it's, I, I find that as I'm getting older and doing more and more stuff, it is harder and harder to be able to find the time for like that sort of self-care, which I feel like I was very talkative about, uh, talkative about like once upon a stream time. I keep saying that term way too often. But like, I feel like I've kind of lost sight of it because, and I don't really mention it much because I feel like I don't really practice what I preach, uh, or at least practice what I preached. I've kind of fallen out of it. Self-care is incredibly important, and if I told you that you should be doing it, I would kind of be the hypocrite. It's a, it's something that I've kind of come to the realization of recently, and I'm looking to, I'm looking to figure things out a little bit differently than I have before. All things are well, all is good, and my psyche is more or less intact. But eh, I'm going through some stuff. But and that's okay. And I'm, I'm mostly an open book about that stuff, too. It's just... I'm less provoked. I don't want to make people uncomfortable or anything like that. It's a... It can be... You know, when you get when you get deep into people's psyches, it can be... It can be a little rough. And I wouldn't thrust anybody into that. Only only so if... Only so if it was, if it was necessary. And not even necessary, but, like, warranted. Potentially. Sims Jeff must be enjoying the show because other, well, otherwise, why would you be eating popcorn? Just kidding. Popcorn is actually a really, really good snack, and it's super good for you, too, in a way that it doesn't really... If you don't put, like, a bunch of salt or sugar and butter and whatnot on it, popcorn is really, really good for you. It's it's kind of tasty, It's and it kind of... I think it acts as a way to help your stomach do what stomach is supposed to do, I think. Hey, bud. Oh, you're dead on the ground. Oh, my God, you're all dead. And you have no soul, that's okay. No soul for me, sir. No, thank you. I'll talk to your soul a little bit later, dog. I like that tram theme. That's a nice little tram theme there. Okay. Let's go down. Where's down? Right here. Oh, dear. And there's supposedly something gold in this location. I don't know why I marked it as such. Uh, okay, yep. Don't don't know why I marked that. Something around here? Maybe? Nope. Secrets. Secrets. They're no fun. Unless you go and tell literally everyone. Nope, not that direction. How about this way? Can I go that way? Let's go that way. Hey oh. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the thing. Do I throw all of my Geo into the fountain? I have 5,416 Geo, and I am feeling... Well, actually, let's consider this for a moment. No spoilers. I need to go through this myself. Serendipity is going to decide whether I throw all of the Geo into this fountain. Today... I was reading some articles. I could not focus on work. I was reading a lot of stuff on Reddit, Google News, and whatnot. And I read an article about our fun-loving YouTuber, Markiplier. I love that guy. Quite the role model. But enough about that. In that article, it asked, apparently, Anth Anthony Padilla from Smosh, and I can't believe I know all these people. I used to watch a lot of YouTube when I was younger. Asked him, you've probably got a lot of money. What do you do with most of that money? And Markiplier says, he donates most of it. I think that is very admirable. And for that, and because I don't care about the consequences, I'm gonna donate all my Geo, if I can. A true servant gives all for the kingdom. Let Hallonest's Pale King relieve you of your burden. Pale King, relieve me of my burden. Drop all the Geo. Take out your top, take off your hat and respect. Here we go. Oh, okay, I wasn't able to deposit all my Geo. Oh. Oh, that wasn't all my Geo. Wow, and I was so willing to do so. I was so willing to give it all up for this. I was rewarded for my generosity. Oh, cool. Man, I guess it kind of pays to be generous. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Huh. 
Now I feel conflicted. I will accept this. And I will take this off my map, because I have solved the puzzle of charity. No more puzzles to be ahead here, folks. None at all. The answer is clear. Donate to your local charity, and when they ask you to give it all, <laughs> give all of it. Because don't you care about the children? Or whatever charity cause it is. I don't know. I, I don't have a particular favorite charity yet. I hope to get one one day. I just, like, I don't have any particular cause that I'm, like, super duper duper passionate about yet. Oh, here's the palace grounds. Cool. 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 Let's take let's take that off the map. Take that off the map. Take the thing off of the map. Anna's looking into dyslexia organizations. Oh, I remember us talking about that. That's a good thing. I like that idea. I'd give money to people to the organizations hoping to uh, help people with dyslexia. Help more in like a societal thing. Like, I don't know if there's necessarily anything wrong with people with dyslexia. I think it's just a different way of thinking. But for some reason, the normalization of society has trained us to believe that if you are not the norm, that means there's something wrong with you. Which I think is a very naive point of view. Anna can do some things that I can't even comprehend doing. She's got a very interesting knack for organization, which... Blame it on the dyslexia if you want to. I would just blame it on Anna, but like that may be contributing to that. And it's it's kind of cool. Oh, hey there, buddy. Hey there, pal. I'm gonna whack you with my swingity do. Oh, there is nothing. I'm gonna talk you with my mouthity moo. Hey, dude. A corpse in white armor. Oh. But I whacked you. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, you know, come to think of it, you know what I haven't upgraded in a while? My dream nail. Oh, what's this? Hey, now what's this thing? Hi there. Okay, I can't read you. That's fine. I'll walk on. Is this the hive? Hidden station. Hidden station? Oh, I can make my way. Oh, yo, I can make my way back up to the, um, uh, the dream place. And then I can upgrade my thingamabob, my, my nail, and then come back down with a stronger nail, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. I like that idea. All right. Call upon my brother Stag. Hidden station. Cool. Dosni Kwan. Dosni Kwan says that she has a different way to organize and recognize information in exchange. She can't tell your lefts from her rights apart and have difficulty spelling words that are above a third grade reading level. But she's awesome and I love her. Little one, I found it, the stag nest, where I was born and raised. I've yet to go there again. My duty binds me to travel only where I am called. But if you wish to see it yourself, I could take you there. None may remain to welcome us, but the nest is still a sight to behold. Give me the word. We will go there at once. Yes, please, take me there. Take me there, I want to see. Smack at, smack at me moo, smack at moo, math at moo, thingamabob. Words that I hope to be able to use more if I remember them. All right, How take did me. You read all of those? How did I read all of those? Because I read it smackity moo, smack mouthity moo, thingamabob. Yeah, smackity moo, mouthity moo, thingamabob, aka smackaddy moo, mouthaddy moo, and thing thingamabob, thingamabob. Ah, <laughs> oh, what station is this? <laughs> Hidden away all the way at the bottom of the thingamabob, mouthity moo. Until I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world still keeps surprises like this stored away. Wow, that is making me incredibly lightheaded to say. Alright, um, what am I doing? Um, take me there. Stag station! Stag nest! Stag- oh, it's all the way up there. Wait, okay. I'm gonna go to the resting grounds first, talk to the dude about the dreamer sh- the dreamer nail, and then I'll come back, go to the stag way, make my way up. This is awesome. This is- this is cool. Bench. Also, I think- I, uh, I, I unlocked new things on my map, right? Yes? Oh, cool. Nice. I like that. That's so cool. I love... I love... I love this game so much. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I was also reading an article a lot of the, uh, the other day. I was doing a lot of reading, as it turns out. Am I in the right place? I am. I have to go up. I was doing... I've been doing a lot of reading recently for some reason. But in that reading... There was somebody who wrote up a post about basically how Hollow Knight ruined other pla uh, platformers for them because Hollow Knight is just so damn good that it's basically ruined things for them uh, in comparing the other games. I've been told on that on that particular thread that apparently Ori, Ori 1 and Ori 2, I don't remember what the actual names of them are, um, 
they're apparently really, really good Metroidvania-type platformers as well, so they're on my list of games that I want to play at, at some point now. So if y'all are a fan of Ori, we're getting there. Promise. Listen! Listen! Hello! Ah! Wielder! You returned! Let me look at the dream nail! So, you already have 200 essence! I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king! That lock of theirs! Desperate, but very clever! I wonder how long they thought it could hold! I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I nana grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back, misin me. Do I have 900? Maybe. Do I? My, my, you're almost starting to become a dream yourself. Once you have collected 900 essence, I'll teach you a trick that I've kept hidden for a long time. This kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, gather essence. How much do I have right now? Ah, I'm at 821. All right, well, I'll just come back another time. Dreams, dreams, go away. Come back a some other day. But until then, eh, we'll figure it out. I think I have more dream catchers on my map somewhere. But where are they on my map? Where are they? I see feeds of green. There's one there. Red flowers too, but mostly whispering shrubs that I whack like I do with my nail because it's cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the stag station. This is cool. I didn't know that was even a thing, but it's all it looks to be all the way. It's all the way up. All the way up is where... Oh, is that where I fell down? Oh, is this the place of the... Stag nest. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know where I am. Where am I? I have no idea where I am. All right. I dig it. Oh, maybe it's not on the map at all. Interesting. Hey, everybody. Achievement unlocked. Hope. Oh. What do y'all have to say for yourselves? It's okay if you have nothing. You're, you're dead. You should be resting. I'll take this. I like that. Aw. Wow, but I can't believe all the stags are dead. They probably died along with literally everybody else because there, there's a whole, like, infection thing or whatever that happened in this world. I don't exactly know, but it's a little crazy. All right, what do you got? All right, what do you got? Does anybody have anything to say, or is the life that far gone from y'all? That's very disappointing. Interesting. Oh, I am feeling forlorn and melancholy because of this. Oh, what is- Oh, dear, what is this? No, okay, this feels safe. This feels safe. This feels safe. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, well. Trust the process, Cameron. Trust the process. I am gonna take a wild guess and say that I have to click a switch somewhere to be able to proceed further. Up, 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 up. Um, something across, perhaps? All right, sweet. Nothing there. Someone over here? Maybe there's a grub -a to find? Potentially. Maybe. Inspect? Dream nail? No, I'll inspect it. An empty eggshell. Still an empty eggshell. Incredible. An empty eggshell. What's this? An empty eggshell. Could it be? Still an empty eggshell. Dream nail? <gasps> Even in its dreams. Empty. This feels like a metaphor for life itself. Wow, how profound Hollow Knight is. Reminding me about my mortality and nihilism. Stag is that way. <laughs> Go say hello if you wanna. I'm gonna jump off of Howling Cliffs. I don't have a map for this area. All right. Something in me says jump off. And because I am at full health, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna jump off cliff. Bye everybody. Oh, the oh, there was stuff below. Oh, thank goodness I put my faith in the system. Hello, you. I am Gorb! Bow! Bow! Bow, 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 bow to Gorb! The great mind! I am Gorb! Ascend! Ascend! Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb! Challenge the warrior dream, Gorb. Yes! Challenge, 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 challenge the Gorb! Hi there, Gorb. Whoa, okay. What is that all about? I'm not actually that scared by you. You 
don't feel that threatened, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I don't... You're, you're fine. I'm okay with you, honestly. If I just stay below you, I find it very, very easy to finagle with things. Okay, well, if I don't stay below you... Wait, don't I have abilities that I can use? Oh, like that thing! Holy shit! That was awesome! That was freaking awesome! Do it again! Oh my god, hi! Okay, wow, you were... You were just feeling it now, Gorb, ain't you? Whoops! I love that ability. I am slowly but surely learning that I have more abilities than what I expect to have. There we go. Gorb is dead. <laughs> dead, dead, dead! Gorb is dead! What are your final wishes, Gorb? Anything at all? I will listen. I am Gorb! The great mind! The pain! Ascend! Ascend! I am! I am! Hi, Gorb. Gorb is dead. Gorb is dead. Inspect! What Gorb has to say? Here lies Gorb. The great mind. Nothing more could be said. <laughs> He is Gorb, the great mind. All praise, ascend, ascend. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so now, I don't have a map for this area. Oh, no, 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 I'm up here. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. I know exactly where I am and I'm up there, the place where I believe I fell down before. So interesting. If I make my way to the right, I'll find my way back to Dirtmouth, but it looks like there's more than just that around here. Oh shit, whoop, okay, we're fine. It looks like there's more. There are more paths to meander upon. Like this. Hi. Wow, you're dead. You're incredibly weak. But that that's not something that you should feel bad about. You can be weak if you want to. I'm not that strong a person, to be perfectly honest. I'm working on it, though. No pun intended. Like working on it? Like like working out? Working on it? Working on... Uh, anyway, I don't work out. I just I just bike to work. It, it does things to my bones, I guess. Now, what is in this dark, dark, dank cave? Hi there, it is me, Knight Cameron, willing to serve. I'm gonna go this way. Who are you? Not important. You're dead. That's who you are. Oh, Cornifer! Buddy! Hey! Oh, you're not here. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store and dirt mountain person map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Oh. Oh, okay then. I guess I will. Is it though? What's in here? Hi there. No, not concerned with you. Oh, what's down here? I'll hit you. I can take a... I can take a hint, and I can also take a hit. Shit, but I can't take one of those hits. Oh my goodness gracious, what am I doing? Cameron, stop doing it. No, stop! Oh, Cameron, why? Think before you jump, boy. He says very clearly. I am actively and consciously choosing not to do that again. Right? Right. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Toto, come on. Come on, boy, you want some? You want some of this hollow? Well, apparently you're not getting it. Oh, but you'll get some of that. Oh, hi there. Goodbye there. I mean, if you really want, ask. And you shall receive. It appears that there may be lifeblood in this area. I see, I see the things. Oh, goodness gracious. Just get your thing and go for it. R.I.P. I.P. 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 Oh, there's butterflies in the background. That means there's lifeblood. That and the whole butterflies in the in the actual background. There's there's some in the background and the foreground. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna... Hey, I saw you up there. Don't think you can fool me. You cannot fool me. I am the gingerbread man. And that's not usually how that fable phrase goes, but I choose to accept it, for this is my reality, and it's by my choosing that it be what it be. I should heal myself, though. Who knows what lies beyond the bend? Just beyond the river hollow... How, how, what is this place called again? Howling. Howling Hills. That's it. Just beyond the Howling Hills. Something... Something awaits, I guess. I don't know. What's this? This looks cool. Oh! Actually, it seems mighty inviting. This is beautiful. Hi, everybody! Hey! This is kind of cool. This feels very inviting. Hi there! I'm gonna hit you with a nail! Okay. Joni's Blessing. Oh, that's cute. What is Joni's Blessing? Lifeblood Heart, I have that. What is Joni's Blessing? Blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic, transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The barrel will have a healthier shell and can take more damage, but they will not be able to heal themselves by focusing soul. Ooh, that's an interesting trade-off. 
I'll consider that. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Johnny, hi. Wait, hi. Hi, Johnny. Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking of late. Tell me more. Isn't it so peaceful here? Such a peaceful place to rest. Perfect, even. Isn't it just so peaceful? It is. Can I touch you? Oh, I have absorbed you. Thank you, Joni. I have over 900... Um, um... Yeah, there's a word for that stuff. I have over 900 dream essence now, is I believe the term that we were using to refer to that. If not, whoops. I'm gonna go with it anyway. Incredible. Absolutely baffling. Okay, then. Going up. Around the river bend. Just around the howling hills. That was kind of cool. Oh, that was not as cool. I said that way too early. Oh, sorry. Can I go this way? I'm gonna go that way. Alas. Nope. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We we won't then. That's, that's fine too. I feel like I should be able to go across this thing here. Nope. Okay. That's fine. What if I hang on the wall? Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you, Hollow Knight. Come on. No, I want to use the powers. Okay, that's that's not working. I thought I was just supposed to... Nah. I thought maybe I'd be able to get something there, but... It, it, there's a little divot in the wall. The divot in the wall completely led me on. Alright, well, I still don't have a map for this area, so I don't... I still don't know exactly where I'm going, but I got a feeling... got the funniest feeling that I'm... That's all there was in that area. And if I'm wrong, then, well, I'm wrong. And I guess we'll kind of tackle the consequences of that later. Oh my god! Well, at least there's no enemies around here to screw up my steez. Hi there. Well, I said that way, way too early. Can't go over there, it seems. Hi there! Why are there three of you? There only needed to be one to screw up my day. But you decided on overkill. And honestly, it's an admirable tactic. I can, I can... I can vibe with that. This was where Cornifer was. Did I check out all the way to the right? I don't remember if I did. Let's just do this. Nope, that didn't help! Okay. Goodness gracious. Alrighty then. Well, let's continue. Nice. Oh, cool. Random piece of... Random piece of dreams from that. Oh, hi there. Um, you seem like a special passageway. Oh, I can't go that way because I have to go from the other side and break it. For where the, where the actual expletive did you come from? Jeez. I heard my fiance laugh in the other room. That must have been a very funny thing I just said. That, or she's biased. Who knows? <laughs> I said you're biased. I heard you laugh. For what? I, nothing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why you would have laughed. I'm not funny. Drops it hilarious. <laughs> I'm lying to myself. No, it's okay. Oh, what is over? Whoa! These Metroid Manias death just hit so good. They do though. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Can I go this way? I cannot go this way. I am gonna go this way. Look at the geo. Oh, what is this? Touch button. King's Idol. All right, that's cool. I like King's Idols. All right. Better than the Queen's Idols, which I still cannot find. All right, well, that's that's what there is down here. Was there another area that I haven't explored yet? Oh, 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 look at that. Ah, it's a, it's a dream thing. I'm going to touch it with my dream nail. Whap. Oh, didn't you? I thought I did the thing. Whap. What the hey, hey. I thought I'm supposed to be able to... Oh, that's not my dream nail. Oh, pff, my dream nail is this button. <laughs> I was using the wrong one. Wow, silly. Silly, silly, clumsy, clumsy, me. That's me. I sometimes make grand assumptions. What's your printing, dearest? Nice. When's your practical at, if I may ask? And is it in one class or is it? It's it, it's it's one class, one I think, right? Practical three, uh, three written finals. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. So you have one practical and three written finals, is what you said, right? Just, just confirming. All right, cool. That's the luck, my dearest. If I can help study it any way, let me know. That seems cool, but I'll come back to this. I think, I think we're heading home the uh, tomorrow to to see to, to heading back home tomorrow evening, right? Well, I'll help you study then if that's cool. If you want to drive, I can help you study.
Mm -hmm. so. Oh, oh, that's the whole like actual movement of the body yeah, thing. That's me testing. Oh, okay, okay. Just to catch everybody else up to speed, the practicals are like the PT actually moving the patient's body around the, in so a like test kind of way. I have the stibular testing that I need to do, so ocular motor testing. Wait, wait, I don't mean to interrupt, but what is stibular? Vestibular. Oh, vestibular. Okay, what is that? So that's your inner ear. So it's basically inner tied ear. to your balance. Your balance has three senses. Oh, the, 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 the balance sensing organ stuff. Yeah, so you have your vision, know a little about that. you rely on when you're really young. Interesting. You start developing at a higher age, your somatosensory, so that's your like touch, your feel, so your feet feeling the ground, so you're able to start balancing. And then your inner ear is your vestibular. Interesting. Which is the one that like basically, um, if you have something wrong with your inner ear, sometimes you can lose your vision, sometimes you can lose balance, and a lot of that. And you can lose your vision by bad stuff happening to your ears. Uh, yeah, dependent on where. If you have a lesion close to it, that's also an area that's very close to your vision. Um, it's oh, to do with your vision yeah, first. that kind of makes sense. So. Interesting. Man, you learn something new every day. I remember seeing a little thing online. It was a Reddit post about the most disturbing things to know about the human body. And apparently, or rather unsettling, not disturbing, but unsettling. One of the things that was unsettling is supposedly there's a triangle shaped area on your face and I think it's I think it's like this this area of your face from your your third eye and down to your lips encompassing that that triangle is like the triangle of death or something like that but supposedly if you get an infection in that area it could potentially be so bad that it does permanent brain damage because it's so close to your brain stuff I guess I don't know Anna do you know anything about that or am I does this sound crazy I have no idea where you came from I didn't come up with it the internet did and obviously I believe the internet wholeheartedly I don't know where you're well, it's not internet friends. They were just random people on the internet. We're not friends yet. They, we haven't even gone out or talked to them anymore. Can't be friends with somebody I've never talked to. I can feel close to them, I suppose, but we're just basically just acquaintances. You know, I don't want to get too crazy about that stuff, but, you know, kind of got to put in... Relationships are a two-way street, you know? Got to put in some effort on both sides, and if it's a one-way street, then, like, I don't know. I wouldn't call that a friendship. Not by a long shot. At least in my humble opinion. Although, you could be friends with Taylor Swift, even if you've never met her or gone to any of her concerts, I suppose. Maybe. There's more dream stuff around here, and I must find it. Maybe. I'm gonna try to find it. It is very... It is very quiet around here. We're out of paper. We're out of paper? Oh, I got a paper down here. I got paper. Here. Here's a whole stack of paper. Oh. This is the paper. The paper's for the printer. Okay. There you go. No problem. No oh, there's paper all over the floor. I will take care of that another time. That's what I get for throwing things back haphazardly. It happens. Alrighty then. Okay, I've missed something. There are more dream things around here somewhere. I will find it. Oh, hey, right here. Sweet. And it appears that I got them all. Those are the only two that I was missing. Excellent. Can't go in there. Okay. Can I go in here? There's something- Oh, this is the place I was going to go, but then decided I'd get all the other things first. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted planes stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. These foolish enough, those foolish enough to traverse this void, must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind that this kingdom grants. Interesting! Very spooky. Hey, what do you got? Wanderer's journal. But what about this cracked wall over here? Dong. Oh, the music got all silent. Oh, but a new area. Still don't have a map for this area, right? Nope. Okay! Hi there! Dream Nail? Dream Nail the Dirty Mound? Nope. Okay, move along. Fine. I proceed. Hi there, who are you? Hey, do you, do you talk? Dream Nail. Okay. I don't exactly know what that means, but I'll take it. The corpse of a large bug. Still a corpse of a large bug. All right. All right. I don't know what to do about that. I can't hit it, and I can't dream nail it anymore, but... All righty, then. I will... Oh! Oh, this is new. Wait, this is... 
This wasn't here when I walked in, did it? Was it? Uh, dream nail? Whack it. Okay, okay. I'm supposed to hit it. Oh my god! That's spooky! Oh, oh, what a... An accordion? I'm turning the volume up. That's an accordion. Interesting. That was... That was cool. I like that. Random accordion fanfare. There must be a further consequences to this. Right? There has to be. Can I keep whacking this thing? Nope. Can I dream nail it now? Nope. Can I go talk to the dead bug again? Large bug? Whack, 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 whack. Still the corpse of a large bug. Who knew? Who knew? I know now. Alrighty then. Um, can I touch the fire? Do I want to? <laughs> burn in the fire, says Hollow Knight. But together we will burn. Or not. That, that Apparently it does not hurt us at all. So we're not actually burning. We're just kind of like experiencing the heat, I guess. It probably, maybe it feels comfortable. Wait, were you dead here before? Alrighty then. Well, that's, that is a thing that happened. Alrighty then. And if I had a map, did I discover everything? I did the whispering thing there. Did I go this way already? I don't remember if I did or did not. Maybe I did. Did I? Hello? Hey. Anybody in here? I see stalactites. So, like, I don't think I've seen it before. Is that- is that doom? Is there doom down here? Doom? Is it doom or is it good stuff? Hi there. That- no, wait, wait, wait. I want to see- Alright, I want to see this dude first. Nice. And now that that's taken care of, I am gonna go down here and see what I find. Hello. Hey, look at that. Hey, one geo, it's still helpful, honestly. Every little bit counts. That's cool. Thanks for that. Thanks for that little, thanks for that little geo there. One tiny bit, one tiny geo. Honestly, all are appreciated. In the whole grand scheme of things, even a penny matters. Although, I often take it for granted sometimes, but, you know, what can you buy for a penny? Really, Nothing. not that much. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Nope, that seems dangerous. Okay. I can get a thought for a penny? Is that what you said? Penny for a thought. Penny for a thought. Oh, haha. -ha. Penny for your thoughts? But yet, somehow, when I give my thoughts, it's putting in my two cents. Yeah. It's a pun. That was a pun. So, the pun part here is the whole two phrases to get- I don't need to explain it. Google it. You want to know why that pun is funny? Google it. It's not my business to tell you why it's funny. But I will laugh to make sure that you know that it is funny. <laughs> That's my laugh impression. Was it human? Was it a very human laugh? I've heard that laughs like that are human. Oh, where am I? Oh! Oh! This is where the thing is on the map! Which means I discovered this thing! Cool! Awesome! And I couldn't get up here, why? Why wasn't I able to go this way before? I guess I just hadn't been here afterwards. I think I remember- I, I was gonna go to this way if I didn't find anything else, but it seems that for one reason or another, I have found my way to where I needed to go. I mean, I say I needed to go here, but like, I don't- I don't know that for sure. Um, because I don't exactly know what I accomplished. Oh! Hey! Oh, hi there! Oh, hi there! I- Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? What are you doing here? Die! What is going on here? I can only hit you from a distance! Uh, oh, I hit you guys, and then I gained soul to be able to soul blast you, I guess is how I'm supposed to go about doing this. This is interesting. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, you're dead now. That's pretty cool. I like that. I could continue onwards, but I'll do this instead. I didn't realize that there were- Oh, hi there. You were dangerous. A dangerous little dude. Trying to sneak up on me like that. Don't. Die. I cannot sneak up on you. I must use my extra ranged abilities. My ERBs. My herbs. My 
17 or whatever herbs and spices to defeat you. Whoops. You I don't have 17 herbs and spices. Yeah, they're all mine. They're all Anna's, apparently. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, God. Why aren't I getting more stuff? Give me more stuff. Give me the stuff. Give me the... Whoa, you spit out, too. Was not expecting that. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's unfortunate for everyone involved. I'll use that for this one. All right. Uh, give me the next one, please. Okay. Next roly-poly. Please, pearly poly Roly-poly, pleasey poly loly poly Loly? Oh. Come on. Oh, hi there. Okay. Oh, I got a little... I got a little thing. That's that's advantageous. Go get him. Now you're dead. Now what's behind door number right? Oh, you guys. Can I... Can I learn anything from your corpses? There's something up there that's pretty cool. What about this thing? Balder shell. They are called balders. Like Balder gates, which I feel like is a reference to something because it sounds familiar, but I don't exactly know. What does Balder Shell do? Protects its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul like crabs. The shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage because I believe crabs are hard shelled creatures. Or I think they're soft shell. I don't remember. Clams are hard shelled. They do. I should know that. My mom is allergic to soft shelled she, fi she fish, which, incre sh which includes shrimp, crab, and lobster. And for some reason, I cannot alliterate right now. Goodness gracious. All right, well, let's go up here. Um, hi there, anybody? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Hi there? No? All right, I got a charm. That's cool. Charms are good. Charms are good. Charms are great. Charms are advantageous. They help me do wonderful, wonderful things. All righty, then. I'll head back then. Cool. Well, I don't have a map, so I don't know whether I've covered everything or not yet. But I feel like the next place to go is, like originally where I came. I was like, when I came down the mountain, the, the hills, I like, I went in a particular direction and I think it was stay close to the cliff and like held the wall. I think I did that, I think. And I think I need to go to the right where I think Dirt Mouth is. If I go to the right enough, I'm guessing I'll find Dirt Mouth. It pro I probably will. If it's the place where I fell in at the beginning of the game, which I'm inclined to believe it is, then I think I'll be able to fall down again Back to Dirtmouth. Dirtmouth, Dirtmouth, I don't know. I want to pronounce it one way, but it may very well be pronounced properly the other. Um, I'm just working on, I just, I, I'm, I'm guessing. It's all guesswork here. That's, that's all it really is. It's all just me trying. Trying, trying, trying. All right, cool. No, stop. Okay. Let's go up. Up and around we go. And to this side. All right, I think I'm high enough. Am I high enough? Now that's dank. I wouldn't smoke on stream. That's that feels disruptive. Okay, kill you, make my way past, see if there's anything underneath here. I don't remember if I checked in this direction already. Oh, hi there, spikes. Hey there. Okay, I definitely was down here already, I think. Oh wait, 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 did I go this way? I don't remember. Did I go this way? Oh, hi. Um nope, definitely didn't go this way yet. I don't think. Or was this the way? No, okay, I... This seems foreboding, but I'll rest on the pedestal. Alright, can I can I dream nail it? Nope, can I go this way? Hi there. Hey, see nails in the foreground? Oh, another nail, dude! I'm gonna learn another nail art! That's so cool! Hey, buddy, what do you have to say for yourself? My brother, Shale, how far are you... How fare you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I like to think you do. Eh? Mm. Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. I am Nailmaster Mato. No, don't speak a word. I, Nailmaster Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself. Here I accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Learn the Nailmaster's nail art? Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, <laughs> let's get her done! Ding, 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 ding. Where's my. 
I've mastered the Cyclone Slash. Oh, the Tornado Spin, a classic move. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform a Cyclone Slash. Ooh. Hell is so mad. Your form. Ex Ooh, excuse me. Exquisite. Now, I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Bum. Oh, bow. I will bow as well. Cyclone slash. I click and hold X, and I go upward. Whoa. I like that. And I like... Oh, I can... That's so cool. Thank you, sir. Bum. You honor Bina. me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Nail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I like to think you do. I think you already said that. I read it again. It's it's cute. I like it. It's nice. I believe it. All right, cool. A new nail art, I think. How many nail arts is that now? That's a lot. That's a couple of nail arts, right? Yeah, those are... I, if these are the where the nail arts are kept, that's all three nail arts. Sweet! Sweet! Very cool. All right, time to continue. There are so many cool... Wow, this is a really cool exploration stream. This is great. We're finding out so many cool things. In that review that I was mentioning before about how Hollow Knight truly ruined platformer games with this particular individual, and I guess Metroidvania type games in general, one of the things that they had mentioned is the fact that no matter how you wind up playing the game, it feels like a new experience every single time because you'll find that one shortcut that allows you to gain new abilities faster, and plus, once you kind of know the abilities and what they, they have in store for you, it's like, it's so, it's so easy to get yourself lost in ex exploration and fi rediscovering things all over again. Allegedly, which is what the internet told me, or at least one person on it. Oh, I jumped off the edge without announcing it this time. That's so different of me. All right. <coughs> King's Pass. That's 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 where I fell. This is where I fell originally, right? Yeah, look at that. I kind of want to see if I can go into the ground. Nope, I don't want to do that. Nah, I thought maybe I could. I don't know why. Oh, look at this. Oh, can I go up here now? Oh, I can. What is over here? Oh. I'm not yet familiar with this area over here because I couldn't go up this direction previously. Oh, maybe this is how to get back up. This is how to get back up. I think this is how I climb back up. It must be. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think this is how I get back up. Cool. And I don't think there was anything else to find over here. I just, well, I found a lot so far. That's good. Well, I know uh, Cornifer said that there is something to find. Oh, wait, wait, you know what I should do? Oh, I have a good idea. I have a great idea. This is gonna be awesome. Or, or it might not be awesome. I don't know, but I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna do my super crystal dash at the top of that cliff to see where it takes me and whether or not, whether or not I can dash all the way across to the other peaks. That could be really cool if it works out that way. Maybe it won't, but I'm curious nonetheless. And honestly, this whole game is about exploration. And if I got an idea, I gotta go for it. It could be nothing, but it could be something so much cooler. Let's go. Let's see what we find. Anything? Oh, okay, I fall down nonetheless. But I'm in dirt mouth now, I guess, right? No, actually. What is... Oh, where am I? Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is the Forgotten Crosswords. Roads. But previously, I couldn't make my way back up, but now I can. That's... That's cool. hey oh, It's that thing again. Yeah, I know about this already. The civilization. King's Pass. Oh. Is there perhaps more that I have yet to explore? Something over here, perhaps? Oh, I couldn't get past here before, I don't think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Hi there. Yeah, I wasn't able to get here before. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty. For only this kingdom could produce ones such as you. Cool. I want to break that open. It is oddly, ominously red over here. What is this? Fury of the Fallen? What is that? Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. Cool. Spooky. Oh, what's down here? Hi there. Hello, little guys. Is there more to be found? Perhaps something spooky and scary that may kill me? Hopefully doesn't. I haven't been on a bench in a while, I don't think. Hey, look at that. Another one. 
Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul. Uh, oh, wait. I, I feel like I've read that before. This was a part of the tutorial. Right? Uh, whoa, hi there. I've been up here before. I think I've been here already. Always going to go back to places that you thought you've explored all of before. I think that's kind of the point of the whole Metroidvania thing, as I'm slowly beginning to learn. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There was lifeblood over here. If I whack it, whack it, whack it. Thank you for whacking, whacking, whacking it with me. Oh, oh. He ran away. That's fine. Go, go, I say. Find the... Nope. Come here. There we go. I already went down that way, and I think... That might have been all there was. So I'm gonna head back to Dirtmouth. Uh, I'll do my save, and we'll see... I don't know. I'll see what other place there is left to explore. I got about, like, 20-ish minutes left. I can keep going. Oh, what is this? Oh, this was definitely not here before. I'm gonna go sit on a bench first. That looks... That looks ominously like Nightmare King Grimm, which I know is a character in this game because I've seen the DLC and the art. Interesting. But I want to talk to Cornifer and his buddies first. I also have a lot of money. Let me spend it. Descend? Descend. Hey! I'm here. I wasn't able to come here before. Hi. Whoa. These refined weapons. The battles of Geo are much deadlier. Interesting. Can I buy that from you? So, another would join our group. I have a gift for you, warrior. As a shopkeeper, I admit parting with it for free is rather difficult. But as the Great Nail Sage... Oh, shit! You're the Great Nail Sage? I just saw all your apprentices. Apprentices? You have mastered the arts of my remaining pupils. Now tradition decrees you too may hold the symbol. Obama. Wear it proudly, Nail Master. You shall be the last to receive its like. Now yeah, this was glory! Oh my god, what does that do? Where's the thing? Contains the passion, skill, and regrets of a nail master. Increases the bearer's mastery of nail arts, allowing them to focus their power faster and unleash arts sooner. Oh, that's so cool! He is an imposter! Oh, for I am the real nail sage! No, Morbid Llama! I am the real nail sage! And having you popped into my kingdom, I now declare battle! Raise your nail! Or don't. I like to think that we're pacifists around here. However, if you're up for a fight, I do like to tussle every once in a while. A battle of words, I feel like, would be more attainable for us right now, as my words are the only way that I may interact with you. That and my hand gestures. But, but you know, to, to each their own, of course. Mama. Off you go, Nast now, Master. I have got nothing more to give you. Nothing for free, at least. I'll be up briefly and eager to take your geo and trade for my precious wares. Okay, dude! I'll see you upstairs then, because I've got a lot of Geo that I was very willing to donate before, um, but didn't, as I did not need to. All right, I'll walk outside. Do, 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 and then I'll walk back in. Are you back? Hey, bud. Pass the boss Geo. Pass the boss Geo. Give me the shard. Thank you for the shard. I really shouldn't have said give me. I should have been more nice about that. Nice. Pass the boss Geo. Oh my god, I can buy more. Uh, I'll take another vessel fragment, please. See? If you say please, good things will come to you. Nice. Can I just keep buying things from you? Oh, achievement unlocked! World Soul. I can buy another one for 1500 but let's see how much that map from Cornifer's wife is. Or Cornifer himself. Maybe he's back. We'll rest, just because we can. Map updated. Uh, I need the map first. I think that's in here, right? Me thinks? Hey, Cornifer, he's back! Finally! <sighs> the Howling Cliffs! Nice! Can I talk to your husband? Cartographer, achievement unlocked. Man, it's an achievement kind of day. After more supplies, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what he plans to spend all that geo on. Buddy, you're welcome, dude. I'm so happy to help out your business. But now that I have that map there, I don't think- I can't buy anything more here, right? There was nothing to buy. No, just this thing. More journals! The white savior in darkness, troubled dreams beset the maiden. Her savior gone, consumed below. Now her only companion, the cold wind, moaning at her door. Ah! Her heart fluttered with sudden fear. Then still, a sudden calm. Why? A presence, a figure close behind. She doesn't dare look, doesn't dare move, fearful the slightest action would break the spell. She knew the presence at her bed, knew the calm only they could bring. Her white savior, now protector, standing tall beside, 
Powerful. Perfect. I think... Yeah, no, no, that's, that's the latest chapter. That was it, I just read that. And there's no need to read it again. That's cool. Oh wait, you're asleep, you're on the bed. Dreams? White Wanderer, don't be shy. Cold outside, bed is soft. Can I join you in bed? Nope, it does not seem like I can. Also, wow, you've got a lot of, you got a lot of night paraphernalia here. Did you make all these yourself? These are beautiful. That's so cool. I love fan art, says the knight of the game to the person. The slug? Are you a slug? I don't know what species of bug you are, but it's irrelevant. Our love could still flourish. But it could not, maybe. All right, so I unlocked all that stuff over here. Awesome. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like there was anything else. I couldn't go the other direction, so I think I got everything over there. Cool. And, um, well, now that I've sat on this bench, I'm going to go investigate the precariously placed grim-looking tent over here. I don't know if any particular entrance matters. Oh, hi! Wait, I know who you are. I recognize you. Nasu? Ah! Did you call us? You called us. We came, and we came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? That doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came, and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it! Will you have it? That smell! Ew, you're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? Shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me! Show me! Put it on! Quickly! Um... Is it the smell of the... The dung master? I, I have a strange feeling. You want to smell something. I have things that smell pretty rancid, and it's the dung master crown badge thing. I'll do that. That's what I assume you're talking about. Um, let's take that off, the lifeblood, and put on the defender's crest. Right? Were there others? I don't think there were others. There wasn't a rancid egg one yet, I don't think. Nah. This is the most smelly thing I got. It smells, and it smells putrid, but perhaps it is nice to the other lady creature. I've already crossed. Ah, that smell! So strong! So virile! Virile? Virile, but not the odor that calls to me. I crave a different smell. Precious. Sensitive. Fragile. Ah! Bring it. Wear it. Bring it. Wear it. Fragile. Fragile things have a smell? I, I think I have a fragile... I have a... Yeah, wait a minute. I have, I have a fragile charm on me. That's this thing. Fragile greed. Yeah. Oh, is that what you want? Uh, okay. Okay. That's cool. Oh, there you go. That's the smell? I didn't realize that greed had a smell. But I suppose greed is a pretty ugly thing. Maybe it does give off a particular odor. Who knows? Ah! That charm! Beautiful! Most precious thing! Little lovely! Will you let me see it? Have to show it to me! Give fragile greed charm? Sure! Alright! Ah, oh, such a little beauty, such a smell, such a smell! Ah, ha, ha, ha. What are you doing? Ah, so good, so tasty, a perfect, perfect thing just for me! Ah! Can I have it back? Beautiful, delicious! Ah! Oh. You're good, little lovely. You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. The, poor the one who made my gift. Ah, somewhere below, yes. Very good gift. Very tasty, delicious. I've already do you want something, little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Egg, so nasty, so cruel if that's true. Once you give something as a gift, it's lost to you forever. I'm starting to learn that, dude. A gift for you? So greedy. I mean, it was the greed charm, but I can show you something if you're nice to me. Little lovely. Will you do a nice thing, lovely? I don't know what that entails, but if it makes progress with the game, then you have my consent. Give them to me. Your Geo. Give me your Geo and I'll give you a gift. Oh my god! Yes. No. <gasps> no Geo? Why? I don't have enough Geo. I don't know, dude. You're asking a lot from me. Alright, well, if I have 9,000 Geo, I will eventually come back, I guess. Alright, that was an interesting encounter. Took my fragile greed away from me. I guess I should go buy more and give them? I don't really want to use the fragile charms anyway. I'm just not a fan of them, but alas. Alright, well, I'm in this... 
carnival thing? Oh, the source of the accordion sound. Nail master. Excuse me. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heed the call across lands and time. Babala. Mm, you called us? Speak to master. Is that it? Sego, nala. All right, I'll speak to master. Who is master? 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 Now presenting master. It is I. No, it's not. It is not I. I don't believe. Oh, it is you. Hey, buddy. So, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. I'm Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose, this kingdom followed by a warm and root. Perfect earth upon which our rituals shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast. Our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first some illumination is required. Grimchild, I got a badge! Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. Poof! No. <laughs> the resounding no from my fiance. Well, that was cool. I have the Grimchild charm now. Worn by those who take part in the Grim Troops trial. Oh! Oh! oh that must be the point of the, that must be the point of these DLC! I was aware of the Grim Troop DLC. I knew that Nightmare King Grim was upon it, but I don't know what you were. I didn't know what you were supposed to do in it or how to unlock it. I'm very glad that I went exploring. And it looks like the bear must seek the Grim Kin and collect their flames. Uncollected flames will appear on the bearer's map if I wear the Grim Child charm, which I'm gonna put on right now because I wasn't ready yet to conquer the Black Egg. However, I am. Oh, Night Terrorist. I am more than happy to take on whatever trials uh, await themselves for this particular DLC here. You look terrified, dude. Ooh, ah, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think at best I tried to ignore it. Ooh, yes, dirty. strange and sinister. Well then, this feels to me like a clear and concise goal of where I need to go next time when we play Hollow Knight once more. Oh, oh, he's so cute looking. Yo, speaking of which, if I bring this guy back, I should bring back the boys. Cornelius, Jombo, and Penetatius. I need Weaver Song. Where's Weaver Song? It requires two. Mm. I want to take this back. I'm putting on I'm putting on the Weavers. I want my boys back. Yes! Now I have four kid among me. I've got Penetatius, Cornelius, and Jombo, and I'll name you the kid will be the grim child that I have hanging with me. In any case, I think that's probably why I will end things for now. I say probably, but the answer is yes. This is where we will end things for now. I feel like it gives us a lot to explore the next time that we come back to Hollow Knight. So to everybody who's come along, I hope you were you enjoyed the ride. That's it. That's it for today. That's all I've got for y'all this week in this fine, wonderful Wednesday, which is coming to a close. To everybody who's out there, may your pr Pride Month began today. So if that's something that you wind up celebrating, there should always be a reason to celebrate, a reason to party, hence all the party hats. It's something that I widely encourage. But aside from that, I'm sure there are many different reasons to celebrate. Perhaps there's a birthday, anniversary, some other celebration. Maybe you're celebrating something for the first time. That's great, that's awesome. Feel that, embrace that. These good feelings are hard to come by sometimes these days. And it's, it's helpful to just like latch onto them and keep onto them, if you can that is, and hold tight. Who knows what might happen to them. To everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening, if it's the evening where you are. The dawn, if it's the dawn where you are. The twilight, and if the sun is shining, may you have a wonderful, wonderful morning ahead of you. 
Until next time, everybody. Party all till then. Bye, y'all.